Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 50. Oh my goodness, really? Episode 50? Terry 1.3. Last episode, we were down in the underworld. I got myself a full set of Hellstone armor. As you can clearly see, my mouse would come over here, thank you. Molten armor. I made a fiery greatsword, a savage molten ham axe, molten pickaxe, an imp staff because it's extra damage, why not? Now, I, I used an obsidian skin potion, which is amazing if you need to get Hellstone. Because you can just sit there and swim in lava. What is not to love about that? I would like to get over to my house this episode. And I want to put down some of these mine tracks. I am curious. Somebody mentioned this and I haven't tried it. And I wanted to try it. I realize it's again a little bit dark. I think that imp was shooting at something just now. Uh, ignore the floating penis. We will fix this later. It's okay. <laughs> I like the convenient leaf placing that I have there anyway. What is what is he going after? What is he going after? You see this? He's just going after a zombie all on his own. He does a fair amount of damage. I, I kind of like having this dude. And his attack seems to do... Uh, seems to go through multiple enemies. So that that's really good. That's really useful. I like how he lights everything up too because he sets it on fire. This imp is growing on me. That's pretty cool. So the fire greatsword I should have just put away. But... That's all right. Then I put my my junk in this chest before I left. Yeah, my building items. Okay, so I want to put glass here in the background. I also want to see what the mine tracks look like on the roof. Somebody said to try this because uh, I'm guessing it's going to make it look uh, like shingles or something. Let's. It's obviously going to look weird with these torches or these flares down, but I want to do this so you guys can see. Well, if, if it didn't put the that thing right there, I, I, I'd get it. I don't know. It doesn't really work with a chimney here. I, 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 like what, I like what you're talking about. I see what you're saying. But I, I don't think I'm going to stick with it. I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. I, that's a good idea. Absolutely. But I don't like how it has that thing sticking up on the end. And there's nothing you can really do about it. It just kind of always comes back. Darn. That was a pretty cool idea, too. So, that idea is unfortunately a bust. I don't think I'm going to stick with that. Hey, Imp, I want to see you kill these things in a line. You know, you gotta, you gotta like, come down a little bit. He's ignoring me. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just kill these things. Remember, we're using Hellstone armor. I do not have unlimited mana anymore. I cannot spam this for eternity. So, if I find myself shooting and nothing's working, gotta remember that. Now the ham axe, am, am I going to put glass here? I think I am. And the placement's going to be a little awkward at first to figure it out. But I think I will, I think I will do it like here first. What I want to do is do the outside edges first. And then we're going to put glass in here. Since this is supposed to, it's not necessarily a greenhouse, but it's, it's a farm of sorts. So I figured, yeah, let's put some glass in here. That way you can see through the wall. You can see the, the sky and stuff. It ought to let a lot of light in here as well. Okay, let's go up to about like here. I think that's acceptable. Plus, I'm getting a lot of boreal wood back. I'll have to make some torches. Or not torches, my bad. Glass walls. I'll have to figure out where I'm putting those extra torches that I just broke. But beyond that, it should be okay. I could use smart cursor, but the only problem with that is I don't want it to start going off to the sides. Once we're in the middle like this, I can do it. I had to start it off manually, I feel. And the ham axe, of course, or yeah, the ham, the molten ham axe in particular is going to do more damage in one swing, so it looks like it's breaking the walls in one hit. I don't remember if the other one was. Our, nope, nope, see that? That's what I didn't want to have happen. <laughs> uh, where are my boreal wood walls at? How the hell can I find my boreal wood walls? Oh, there they are. Durr. So, let's fix the boo boo. I will have to paint them. Which kind of sucks, but I will I will do that here in a sec. I'll try not to mess things up. That's why I put the all the painter gear and my building gear in that chest. I figured we need to come back to it at some point. All these flowers make things difficult. Not the ones that I have planted either. So careful. We're at the edge. Alright, let's turn some markers are off. And there's a line right here. And now I'm gonna need to make a bunch of glass, which should be easy. I have quite a bit of sand at home rid of this stuff. Can you shoot it? No, you cannot. 
The biggest problem I have with uh, with the Molten Pickaxe is it's pretty slow compared to the Demonite one. But this should lighten up whenever I bring the, gra the glass in here. Now, do I want to go down one more layer with the glass? I think not. I kind of like where we have it. So let's get the paint. Uh, I want to show you the Fire Greatsword. So Fire Greatsword's a little bit slow, catches things on fire. Does quite a bit of damage, as you can see there. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to use it as my primary at the moment. But I'll bring the black paint and color walls. So we'll color the walls real fast. So let's fix the boo-boos we made. I don't want to have that paint spray on when I'm pa when I'm placing glass down. You know, annoying that to get <laughs> black glass uh, kind of defeats the purpose of letting light through. So let's put that here. But I mean, here you can see there's a big gaping hole in the house. With glass, it's going to give it a little bit of a texture, and I think it's going to be pretty sweet. So let's head home real fast. Get myself some sand because I don't believe I have glass. A lot of it anyway. So there's sand. That's more than likely overkill. Uh, we're going to get like four times this, so... I have, I have a furnace I can place now when I'm over there, so screw it. And you also, you know what, let me just uh, sell this to you. How much is it worth? 60 copper. Furnace is a furnace, we'll sell it. Glass walls. Glass walls. Is it a crafting bench? Yes, it is. So, let's just make that. That ought to be way more than enough. <laughs> if I don't need it, I can always turn it back into regular glass and use it for bottles. Because we're going to need bottles. Loads and loads of bottles. Yeah, saving time. No, don't, don't mess up. Almost screwed that up. <laughs> saving time. So, glass, let's put you up here. Just move these things over. And we'll see how much I like this or not. Oh, there's a piece of wall right here missing. Can I hit that without hitting my... I'm trying to not hit the... <laughs> the platform. I don't even know if I can with a hammer. You know, I should go over. Kind of, yeah, I should dig into one. Okay, I don't like... Is it really removing the walls? Is that a new thing? That's new. So it looks like they, what they've done is made it so you don't have to even break the damn wall. When you're placing, you just place over it. That is really cool. That could save a hell of a lot of time. I didn't know about that. Okay, well I didn't have to do that whole breaking of the walls. Wow. 1.3, stop. Stop with the changes. Stop with the ninja changes. I didn't know. That scares me for when I use Smart Cursor. When I just break everything. That, that, that's good and bad. I wonder if you can toggle that. I mean, I like it, but a lot of times what I do is I, I break off an area, then I use Smart Cursor to fill it in. The last thing I want to do is kind of ruin all my work. Interesting. Yeah, this also makes it really easy to see the herbs. Because there's no black background, except for during night. But during day, you can really see everything. I like it. Okay, so let's just make sure we fill all of this in. Otherwise, it'll look goofy. Maybe use Smart Cursor. Maybe I don't have enough glass. We're cutting it close. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough. That's okay. I can make a lot more. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. Nope. 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 Alright, so that is fine. I can throw down a furnace. <laughs> a Hellforge, nonetheless. Make myself the 27 sand I have. Some glass. And, of course, it takes an even amount to make that. I didn't have that, but let's make myself some glass walls. That might even... Yeah, that should be enough. That ought to be enough. We are good. Don't worry. It's close. It's very close. Now, do I like having the... I don't really know if I like this. Having it dip down like that. So what I will do is... Let's go ahead and... Oh my god, he's murdering that slime. Damn. Uh, let's take the boilerwood walls. I know I could use the paint sprayer, but... Yep, look at that. You can just... Where... That's cool. I mean, that's useful, but... I can see that being really annoying. Okay. Alright, well, we're done there. Let's paint these walls. I don't want to paint the glass black. That'd be silly. Now, I feel like the placement is off on some of these, because, look... Unless I didn't put glass there. I didn't put glass there. Because, yeah, there's a little bit of black that comes up. It looks weird. Okay, so that is fine by me. Um, there's no torch up here now. I could probably get away with one like right here, couldn't I? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just press A. I might break this a few times trying to find kind of the middle. I don't think that's even a middle point. I think I'm going to have to split the difference. 
I can do the math later, but that's fine. I like having the glass there. That is... Dude, I like this imp. This imp is really cool. <laughs> this imp is pretty damn sweet. Um, so I like that. That breaks it up. It's different. I still need to put the roof here. Now, boreal wood, and I do have some. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Now, how exactly does this pattern work? Uh, it's... It comes down to the first hole in the wall, and it goes out two and then three. Here's where I piss a lot of people off because I'm building, and then I, I mess things up. <laughs> Last time when I made the roof, oh, was it his name Connor or something in my comments? He, was, he posted like a timestamp of everywhere I screwed up. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I read that. That was great. That was great. I believe that is... I believe that is the same. If not, oh, I will have him post a play-by-play -play where I'm incorrect. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to have enough boreal wood for it, it doesn't look like. And I do go in every two blocks. That's kind of the pattern. So let's do the same thing here. Oh, I, I looks like I might have enough boreal wood for this. I, I like this idea. I, I think that's pretty cool. That's going to match up. Oh, and I also could put the meteorite in here just to see if it's going to be something I actually like or not. He's just going ham at that slime. Look at him go. Damn, dude. This thing is ridiculous. Okay, well, I don't want to just keep going up because it'll eventually connect to that. So why don't we call that high enough? I think we ought to call that high enough. Now, that also brings up another point. The way that this is working over here is there's no marble layer. I'd have to move the roof down. Hmm. Do I want to do that? That would keep things the same. Uh, I kind of like that, and that might even open up a little bit, because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to raise these chests back up. The alchemy bench is is three tall, to my understanding, so we're kind of screwed on that front. So let's go ahead and just remove this. We'll replace it, and you can, you can definitely tell. I'm going to pop a mining potion just because it is a little bit obvious that the molten pickaxe is slower, but it does more damage in one swing, so... The demonite pick might even be a little bit better, in my opinion, in most situations. But it doesn't light things up, which is really nice about this when you're mining. This thing lights everything up. So let's go ahead and try to recreate what we have over here. Um, I will break these, and then what I will do is take one of the marble blocks, put it down right there. Hey, you're picking up money that you should not be picking up. Get him, imp! Get him, imp! Get them, Imp. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Imp is imp is growing on me. I like the Imp. Uh, i just do it this way. Okay. And I messed up the wall here. That's to be expected. There's going to be a lot of goof-ups here and there. And the wall looks... Uh, the wall obviously looks funny because we didn't need to fill it in in some spots. But well, what I did here is right here, I actually have a boreal wood log there and there. And then... This actually goes down two? Nope. Hey, he's, he's going to get to put his play-by-play -play of where I'm messing up. And I think that's actually okay. And then I have two here, and then this is the one that's... Goddamn smart cursor. This is the one that's moved. And then goes out. And then there's two on, on an overhang. Like that. That is what that looks like. Yes, it is. That's exactly what that looks like. I don't want to hear your play-by-play. Your -play. Go away. I actually do if I mess up, but <laughs> that should be okay. Now, this has... It looks just like that. That's how the roof looks on here. And it just goes straight across and it comes back down. However, there's no end to this, so I'm not going to make it arc down, I don't think. That'd be stupid. I'm just going to go ahead and make it connect. Now, we're going to go ahead and do our two spacing. Two spacing, and that might even be high enough right there. And I'll have to fill it in with the walls. And then this also lets me put more chests in here, which is really cool. And I think it looks a whole lot neater. I could even put a chimney on here if I want to. Chimneys on every roof. Chimneys on all the roofs. But that looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, two, that, two. Pretty sure that, that matches. And then there's that. Okay. So if I screwed up, let me know. But I think I did a relatively okay job there. Uh, Boreal wood walls. Let's go ahead and place you guys down. Yeah. I know I can go get the paint thing, but I'm just going to be lazy and do it this way for now. Let's go ahead and fill these in. That. Give me that hook. That grappling hook. Okay, and we'll know when we place it in when it gets dark. Okay, it's dark, so we know it's done. And I have the paint on me, so let's go ahead and finish this. 
And we can't paint blocks with this. We can only paint walls, so I don't have to worry about overspray. <laughs> but look at that. Look how much extra room that gives me in here. I, I, I sincerely like that. So turn the smart cursor off. Um, I don't have meteorite bricks. Do I even have meteorite at home? Because I would like to test it in the middle of the wall. Uh, I don't think I do. So just to be 100% honest with you, I will break a few of these. We'll relocate them. I mean, if I don't like it, I'm just going to bring them back. I'm going to need more meteorite. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. We need more meteors to spawn. I need to go mine them all. But a meteorite brick. Let's see how you look in here. I, I don't think this is going to work. And this is what saddens me. See? Because it's got a block to the side, it's not going to give me that awesome texture. It's giving me the texture on the block that doesn't have a like a face. I mean, that's okay. That's kind of cool. But it's also kind of annoying. I wanted a line. Like, that, that's pretty cool. Like, don't get me wrong. But I wanted the lines. Huh. There's really no good way to fix that. Because even if I replace these walls with meteorite, what would happen is right here you wouldn't have that cool texture effect, and up here you wouldn't have that texture effect. Uh, I don't know what I can do about it. I really don't know if there is a way around it. So that saddens me immensely. Damn it. That, that was, that's, a good, that's a good idea, too. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I need to remember to use this thing when I want to go down faster. I like that. It's really cool. And just go ahead and place these. So, there we are. But yeah, whenever it touches the block, it loses that cool effect. Mm. That annoys me. That annoys me. It saddens me more than anything. Anyway, with the living wood, let's go ahead and... I do, I do need to get back to this. Uh, I kind of want to fill this in down here. I think and then we're going to have to obviously fix the whole phallic shape that we got going on. Don't worry, it's going to get fixed. It's not going to stay a penis forever. It's just obnoxious. And I had no intention of it looking like that. It just sort of did. <laughs> um, let me get over here. Now, this is obviously this is grass, or I'm sorry, dirt. Clear that out. Yeah, let's put, no, not boreal wood. What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Living wood. Okay. Give me that boreal wood back. I'm going to need all the boreal wood I can get. He's just going to go kill things. Works for me. And I should be able to get in here and start building my way up like this. Okay. I'm going to have to dig my way out, but... It gave me a moment of not having to jump around. Works for me. So let's go ahead and fill this back in. Wood wand. And I think that's turning out to be a little bit better. I like to put a block here. Yeah, just building at this angle is always awkward. Not much I can do about that. I suppose I could get a flying carpet, but that doesn't last forever, does it? I don't think it does. I very rarely ever get one of those. Man, we need a pyramid. That's going to suck because that's going to require a lot of spawning of worlds for me to get a pyramid. Uh, I really would like one. So a pyramid, I've talked about it before, but you get a flying carpet, you can get a sandstorm in a bottle, you can get some... You can get really unlucky, in my opinion, and get some Pharaoh's clothes. They're a vanity set. I would much rather have, like, the, the balloon, or the cloud in a bottle, or sandstorm in a bottle, or the flying carpet. You can get kind of unlucky, in my opinion, if you, get, if you get those vanity items. So that's a little bit better. I like the way that looks. And, of course, when I start filling this in with living wood walls, which, let me see, can I even make? I'm assuming I can here. Yep, living wood walls. Just make a few of those. And I want to see what they look like when I start placing them. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely like the way these look. These walls. That is nice. So, obviously, it's a little bit dark in here. But I, what I want to do is living wood lantern. I can hang these. I can't really do much right here. I can hang one there, I suppose. Just to just get some natural light in here. There you go. I'll have some... It's going to be all plant-themed. That's kind of the goal. And let's just smart cursor these. Smart cursor with walls. That is the way to go. Don't place them off in the wood. Uh, I don't want to waste any. If color in the lines. That is bringing it together. I will probably connect the walls to the house. I think that is... A relatively smart decision. Okay, so let's take the walls. I'll turn smart cursor off for this for now. I don't want it to go too far over. <laughs> He's just killing things like off screen. I don't even know they exist. Uh, I will probably be putting. Yeah, I'll probably yeah uh, block that off. I don't see why I wouldn't. 
now? Uh, let's, it's going to be a little bit awkward to get in the house. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to put, I need more of these. Why don't we just fill in the walls? I don't think we should do that. So, it's going to kill the log supply that I have, obviously. But, it is what it is. It's needed. Let's fill these in. And yeah, I mean, look, even with it being nighttime, the way that the lighting works, I feel that over there in the, that farm, it really brightens things up. So I'm a fan of that. I might want to like texture it and put like little rounded off edges on it, so put some more boreal wood walls in there. That that would be cool, I guess, instead of it just being perfectly square. But I like that idea. That looked uh, it looks a little bit better. Rainstorm. Um, rain means water leaf seeds. Did I have water leaf seeds at home? Or water leaf planted at home? I think I did. Cause I need to get seeds. Okay, I do not. However, we can run over to a desert, which we're going to do now. We need to get water leaf seeds. And I believe in 1.3, I don't remember if they changed it in 1.2.4, I believe they did. Uh, water leaf you used to get by having it submerged in water when it, and then you get the seed. Now you get it when it rains. So let me get over here. And let's see what's up. Should be some water leaf seeds for me, which I need. I want to be able to move my farm. Get out of here, goldfish. Bunk. Okay, so we are in the desert. And right there is a water leaf with water leaf seeds. Might have some at home, I don't remember how many. But you can never have too many. Especially because we're going to want placeholders. Yep, there's water leaf here and there. It's good. Three seeds from that one. That is nice. The more the freaking merrier. I saw that. I saw the imp coming at me from through the ground. I'm like, what is that? What is that? What is that? It's on fire. What is it? It was just my imp, thankfully. Now uh, we could run over to the desert if truly, or I'm sorry, the ocean. If I really wanted to. Uh, are there any seeds down here? Sometimes you can find them growing on sand down here, but no, it looks like we're not going to. You go, imp. You tell him his boss. I think that might be all the water leaf that's over here. It's another desert. Very small one to. Not worth going over there for. Some water leaf down here, which is good. Three seeds, hell yeah. Three seeds, hell yeah. Okay, how many seeds do I have? Let's check here. 21, that is enough. That's old enough to drink. In the States, anyway. Let's, uh, let's go home. And now what I can do is make a water leaf farm, which I do want to kill Skeletron first, because he's going to open up... Uh, for the Shiverthorn seed planters and water leaf planters. So, as much as I'm working on storage, I kind of want to go kill Skeletron soon. Just because a lot of people are getting pissy with me because <laughs> I want to say it. And I understand. Uh, I would like to go kill him. I would like to. Oh, we're not going to go into the dungeon yet. No, we're not ready. Sorry. Uh, we, okay, we are ready, but I need the inventory space to be able to haul the loot back. Um, but I do want to kill him and get those planters so I can move on with my life. Now, I've put Fire Blossom here, which may be unwise. I think I might want to put that at the top. Uh, huh. I'm not going to diddly squat for, for Fire Leaf, or Fire Blossom. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and put the Water Leaf Seeds in here, and then the extra Water Leaf. So now I know I have them here. I can, I can plant them right now. I mean, there's no harm there. I just need to remember to harvest it during a rainstorm. Oh, look at that. We revealed a missing glass wall. Hey, man. That's good. Now I know. Anything else in here? Turn this markers around. I think we're good. But there we go. So water leaf now has a home, and if it starts sprouting, it starts sprouting, and that's what I want to see. But it is uh, unfortunately time again to wrap the episode up, guys. So this was episode 50, Drea 1.3. Again, busy, 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 busy. This thing has walls now for the vast majority. <laughs> we'll continue to work on that later. Um, again, this is going to be all plant themed. I might put like stairs in here. I'm going to fill it. I'm going to deck it out with furniture. I need to make it feel roomy, but that is the goal. We're going to have to give it some branches and leaves that don't make it look like a wiener. That's the inevitable goal. <laughs> I'm happy about getting our hellstone armor and having all of our hellstone gear. And man, these moon glow things just they just grow so fast. But guys, it is time to wrap the episode up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.